Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the podcast. Uh, <laughs> now, we did decide on 845. Now, I will now, say was a little bit of a... There was uh, a time change, but... Uh, what do you mean? There was a time change. Oh, yes. We asked to come a little earlier, last minute, but not really last minute. It was, it was yesterday, late afternoon, and you specifically said, Charles, are you confirmed for this? Yeah. And Charles said, yes. Okay. Interesting. I didn't see his, I, I'll admit, I did not actually look at his response. I assume that when Meg said, we're on for 845, that she had had confirmation from him. But uh, I just you wanted said, to be doubly did sure. we get confirmation from Charles? And Charles said, yep, I'm good. Well, I will say, I was a little confused the other day because I popped in and... Late, yeah. A little bit late. I was... <laughs> well, uh -oh. so call time was 9... Am. And I thought like, oh, everybody shows up. We don't at nine. usually use the terms call time. It's more just like, hey, let's do the podcast. Yeah, at yeah, nine. yeah, yeah. That's my bad. I, I think because because you know, Mara. Right, well, right well, with, well. There he is. What's up, Mister? Oh, cool oh, guy. He's coming in Hollywood. Cool guy. What's up, Hollywood? I'm gonna just start. I'm gonna keep my shades on. And look <laughs> maximum awesome. <laughs> well, you do look. Cool. Okay. <laughs> Hollywood, Charlie. Day. Hey, man. You know, you said eight forty-five, and I knew it was gonna be a tight squeeze for me because mm -hmm. the the. Our nanny was getting in the house at 30. I knew it was going to be tight mm. to, to make it here in 15 minutes from my house. Mm. But 15. Mm -hmm. 15. Mm -hmm. But I was like, I could either do another five texts being like, I might be five, or I could just be like, let's just see if it happens. And if I'm five late, it'll be good fodder for the pod. Because uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. it's a lot of texts well, you, you, back you texted, and forth to try you, to. You texted, yep, I'm good. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, yesterday, it? yeah. Yesterday at 4 30 p.m. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, I'm good. And guess yeah. what? You're had, good, baby. I am good, motherfucker. You're great. I'm a good. Hey, you're shit. one of the best. <laughs> hey man, you're one of the best, you guys. Well, I love you. <laughs> Let's get it going. I felt nothing but love for you guys watching this episode. I'll tell you what. Uh, I I uh, I love this episode. Same, I was I was in, so I forgot I almost forgot to watch it and I I had already like put my son to bed and he was actually sleeping in our bedroom because he's having some problems with like nightmares and and so I was like oh I can't I can't leave because he doesn't want us to because he w keeps waking up and he needs somebody there so I was like so I just watched it on my phone in bed last night and had to like seriously stifle a, a, a lot of like laughter so that i wouldn't wouldn't wake him up uh i i just loved it i, I it had a lot of fun. out loud laughter as well for this particular episode yeah 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 now anybody who's who's watching along with us will will notice that both danny and caitlin are not in the episode right mm -hmm. and if do you guys remember the reasons why no um i think that they couldn't be D there. I think Danny it was. couldn't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. pretty yes. sure. Yeah. Short, short answer. They yeah, couldn't yeah, be yeah. there. I think that's what it was. Danny yeah, needed. This was not something that we that we engineered. We did. We didn't write the episode thinking, "Oh, it'd be great to do an episode without them." No. It was that they came to us and said, um, um, "Much like you had disrespect for our time today, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, they had disrespect for our yeah. shooting period." And they said, "Yes, you know those like." Month and a half period. Are you serious? <laughs> no, no. Are, are, you, are you seriously <laughs> me, going to? Uh, no, this you know that month. No, I'm, I'm going to roast uh, Caitlin and Danny for a second. You know that month and a half period where you guys just, you know, you ha you ask us to show up and say the words that that you write that we've been writing for three months. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And that you'll edit into the show, yeah. and, mm -hmm. and and then we get the rest of the year off. We just we can't make it that we're one not going to be able to make it. Just can't. But why? What anymore. was it? Dan well, Danny needed two two episodes off actually because yeah. he's not in the uh, the whatever the bark critic one that, mm -hmm. that's coming up he wasn't in that one mm -hmm. and i don't remember why and i but i don't remember why and i don't remember why caitlin needed an episode i do believe it was injury related <laughs> that's what i thought with caitlin it was, it it was something to do with when she broke her back but how yeah. would we have known that yeah. in order to write it because we presumably no, it was written yeah. ahead of time right oh no it was rewritten Oh, we rewrote. Oh, it. yeah, that was like one of the last. We, so she we had to rewrite that. that episode. Maybe it was the time that she broke her foot. Well, when did she? Yeah, break? because she broke her foot this th this season. When and did so she we break her back? Was that season three? That was season three. Oh, season three, she broke her back. Season four, she broke her, her foot. foot. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, and so she really, truly couldn't walk. Yeah, and and we worked around it for some episodes. In other episodes, it was we just couldn't do it. Yeah, but why? <laughs> now they got paid. Just to be clear, Excuse America, me? they I'm got paid sorry, for those what? episodes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to get paid for work I don't do. God bless. Yeah. God bless. I know. 
Um, they got paid for the episode. Uh, and they have to, you know, pay or play. Pay or play. Tracks, you know? But we were like, hey, but they're can, the can ones who are saying they can't yeah, play. Yeah, they can't play. Right. They You're can't telling play. me you can't play and you and want to pay? Get paid? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Pay or play is when we don't want you to play and we have to pay you because yeah, we, we chose. Can, yeah, we said you can't play and you're like, well, I get paid to play. And you're like, Fine, you'll get your pay, but yeah. you won't get your play. <laughs> but if you come to the game and say, I can't play, I won't Fine. play. Well, well, here's your pay anyway. Then, you know, that's, that's, we're idiots. It's tough. I mean, like in uh, professional sports, if you're injured, they don't, they don't take away your, uh, your salary. Right. Yeah. Workman's yeah. comp there. Right. Right. Uh, yeah. But, but I, Danny, I feel like he was prepping. He was. A yeah. movie. Yeah. The movie that didn't go. And it didn't, it, it didn't come Morgan together. Fisler, a Morgan Freeman. Movie. Something he was directing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he was going to yeah. direct it and he needed Morgan Freeman and he had to like go to Mississippi to like visit with Morgan who mm -hmm. I think lives there. I could be making that up, but um, it's from there. Uh, anyway, he had to go somewhere to like sit with Morgan or it was, it was like a. I remember being in the trailer down by those stages in Culver City and getting a phone call saying, I, I, can, can you work this out? I need to go and fly and see Morgan. And we did. Because well, you know what? We're great partners. Well, I tell you what, I think the episode, and this is not a, yeah, there's a high five happening oh, here for the oh, listeners. So it was sad. really That was bad. so sad. Oh, That's not the high here? five of a best friend. Uh, <laughs> let me go with my right hand. Oh, uh, God damn it. Not good. That okay, they that finally. Was that was somewhat painful. For the people nice. who are still listening, they finally connected on the high five. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, uh, and for the creeps, you, maybe we so can limp. do like a. That first one was so uh, limp. Well, you know what it is? It's coming from the side mm -hmm. here. You got to yeah. go across your body. Yeah, you want to go it's cross body. It's hard to body. do a backside yeah. and have a full And flush this is my hand. dominant hand, mm -hmm. but I still I couldn't get enough whip out of it. Speaking of high fives, can we just talk for a second about Caitlin's high five? That's what I was trying to emulate there. She's got a wicked one where she slaps so you. So Caitlin's, like Caitlin's. Oh, she puts uh, a little pop in it, doesn't yeah. she? <laughs> she like, anytime, like I'll go to give her a high five. Yeah, you hold your hand, you're getting ready to go for it. And she just whacks your hand. Like that's how, and then, and I would talk to her about it. I'd be like, that's not how you high five. And she's like, yeah, it is. You, you, yeah. you slap she the person's puts an extra, hand. She puts an extra pop in it. Yeah. Like a cobra, like that's striking. Yeah, yeah. She, psh, yeah. Uh -huh. if, uh, if the you, way she was pecking at that sandwich. Time. Yeah. So Caitlin and Danny were not in this episode. It was just the it was just the three boys and and the waitress. Um, really fun. Oh man, so really funny. Fun. Uh, you know, it's so it's interesting too, right? Like, so we have this contract. You have these five actors, and you're like, okay, we have to write for them in every single episode, and let's figure out how to represent everybody. But I don't know, something pops up, then you can't use two of them, and you're like, okay, we have to figure out something else, and. It's something we haven't done because it's just not the way the sort of contracts break down. But like from a creative standpoint, yeah, yeah, it's great to just focus on these three and mm -hmm. their relationship for this one episode. I'm surprised we haven't done. We've done a little bit more of it as the years went on, and but... we'll do more episodes that are have more heavily focused on a couple of characters or one character. Yeah, you know, where the other characters yes. just kind of come in and out. Yes, but it's just fun to keep it fresh and keep people on their toes. Yeah. yeah, it's such a fun episode, like the just the exploring the dynamic between these three characters. Like just, you know, the, the concept of three men in their in their early 30s, like arguing about which one of you is like who's who's best friends and, and shit. The, yeah, the so simplicity really of the sad. scenes is super refreshing. Like I come over to your to your apartment and that. That's one of my all time favorite scenes in the in the entire series is when you yeah. come over with the 24 pack of beer. And, that whole uh, sequence from, from getting to the house to the end of the night, peeing in the bed. Am I peeing? What are you peeing? Oh, He's pissing Jesus, all over peeing. the bed. I told him God. he was going to do it. I knew he was going to do it. He drank too much. God damn it. Oh my gosh, if I'm peeing, wake me up. Yeah, it's some of my favorite stuff. Yeah, you're right. That that entire that entire sequence. I mean, that scene where I'm desperately trying to get you to sleep in my room and trying to engage you in some sort of a fun activity. You know, mm -hmm. it's watching a DVD. But I remember, I remember us... Like a lot of that, uh, I think actually that entire board game conversation was improvised. Was it? Yeah, it feels. I think in the it script it was just it was just like we could play some board games, and you're like, nah, I'm not really into that or whatever. 
and we looked at the board games that we had, I think, in the there on the set. Like I think there were some board games <laughs> yeah, on the set and we were like, Oh, right. let's just Chinese checkers kind of foreign yeah. to me. Kind of foreign, yeah. Uh, connect <laughs> connect four. four, that's a lot of counting. Uh, a lot of counting. Not really, buddy. Not really. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> one, two, three, four and Yeah, but over and over and over again. Yeah, but then so many times you have to do it. Yeah, so many times you have to do it. Yeah. How many times you get a one two one the game? <laughs> like, yeah, it's... I I have to admit, I feel like I'm stealing some some moves from Jason Bateman in that scene. I, Did you pick I up on that? I was watching that today, that's yeah. what I felt like. I was yeah. like, oh, this is a this is very Bateman. Yes. Uh, and I, I think that uh, it wasn't intentional initially, but it was like, as I was doing it, I, I could feel it coming mm -hmm. up. You know what I mean? It's like, I, I just, I, I've always admired Jason Bateman. I, he I love- He really mastered yeah. the dry straight man. Yeah. And so anytime you want to go dry, it's hard not to be like, oh, I'm slipping into a Bateman. I, could, yeah. I couldn't help it in that moment. It just felt right. Um, mm -hmm. But I will, I will fully admit it and give him credit for sure. sort of the the rhythm, the inflection, sort of like the way I played that scene yeah. with you, you know. And it's fun because those are colors that I feel like I don't get to play that often on the show, like especially in the later seasons as my character gets more insane, more yeah, more arch. angry, more. It's nice arch. to see like a little want, a little needy, a little, a little needy. Wanty. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, these scenes are played very natural. I mean, I guess, except for like some super drunk acting, but like. But even that, I mean. Yeah, it's, it's all kind of really grounded and and intimate, which is so funny to me. Like, uh -huh. Well, it's an emotional a, episode. It's about, it's about, well, on the surface, it's about love and, and about wanting to, to, to demonstrate that we, we are actually the ones who love each other more. Yeah. More, but really it's, it's a desperate need for, for. Should we back it up to the, how it begins with a little project badass? Sure. Um. Is that Mark Skizak on the bike, or is that is this before Mark Skizak? This is started this was the show? one year before Mark Skizak. Oh, really? That yeah. wasn't Skizak. No, uh, it looks like him, and I've asked him. Mark about Skizak him. is our uh, stunt coordinator uh, on the show, and has been for many, many years, and, and is the, the only person who's ever been nominated for an Emmy. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Multiple, multiple times, show. multiple, multiple times, times. Yeah. and deservedly so. Yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I thought that was Mark on the BMX. It looks bike. exactly like him. Yeah. It does. Yeah, it's yeah. not him. Uh, and th so that was all born out of our love for Jackass. Yeah, right? right. How much we love Jackass. Yeah, that was our version of Jackass, right? Yes. And found out that Knoxville was a fan of the show, and and we were trying to find ways in which we could incorporate him. That's right. That and I think it was the next season that we tried, and we had, yeah. I, we had a whole script. We had a whole thing. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. The, the guy, like we were trying to do a Jackass thing, and then something happened where like one of those guys, like oh no, wait, that's what it was. One of them came into the bar and they were like super depressed, yeah. right? And they were just yeah. drinking and we were like, oh shit, that's the guy from Jackass. Like we should do some stuff with him. And we kept trying to like Jackass prank him. Yeah. Oh, right, And right. he was like fucking he, just he getting just irritated with that. He just wanted yeah. to drink and <laughs> leave me alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like drown his sorrows mm -hmm. and just we just couldn't leave him alone. <laughs> just yeah. gonna... And then I think like somebody ends up in, somebody ended up in jail. I don't know, we should pull out that old script. Yeah, just bust it out. See if those it is ones. interesting how the week before and this week, it, it does have a or at least the way into the episode has a lot to do with these sort of, you know, social phenomenons at the time, whether it was reality shows or jackass or things that felt fresh. I don't know what would be today, you know, like I think, is anything new? <laughs> <laughs> not, not for, not for, not for us, not for, not for, for me. I've, I've sort of enclosed myself into a little bubble and, um, and nothing sticking to do. with the classics. I'm just sticking with the classics now. Yeah, and, uh, sure. and I feel it. I feel myself. I see. I feel the world passing. You're dug in. That, that's that's why we do film noir episodes now. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Exactly right. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. Um, but no. But this is this is something that you've talked about many times. That, that, mm -hmm. And I think something we all love is like the relationship episodes. You know, the, those are some of the yes. best. There's just always some of the best ones where where it's really just about mm -hmm. relationships and about like the. You know the needs that you have, and the 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 you know the inter uh, the what's the what's the word I'm looking for the um, interpersonal sound like no uh, interstellar. Uh, this is this is the, <laughs> by the way this is happening to me now inter in my forties like I'm losing <laughs> intergalactic intercontinental the inter I'm losing words. Tito Santana no yeah. no um uh uh. Oh my God! <laughs> Did you say Tito Santana? Yeah, Tito Santana, Intercontinental Champion, of WWF, nineteen eighty six to nineteen eighty nine. I'm positive that those are the words you were looking for. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they weren't. Uh, but you know, fair enough. Um, no, Carlos I'm, I'm, Santana. Like, you know, when you're when you're which Santana was it? <laughs> un, un, when you have an unhealthy relationship with somebody, you're oh, oh, uh, codependent. codependent. Oh, codependent. That's the word I was looking for. Codependency. Yes. 
surprised I got a it. Lot of, a lot of codependency at play. The um, the scene where you were, you know, you're on the walkie talkie for the first time. <laughs> first of all, just a stat like that is the kind of thing that like when when you were kids, like walkie talk, you got some walkie talkies and you were like, holy shit. Mm-hmm. whoa this is so fucking cool we can i can talk to you could be like over there and i can be over here and we can talk to each other and like i wonder if we can reach all the way to our houses and like like and the fact that these men in their 30s are are still like obsessing over that but there's still something i find exciting about a walkie-talkie yeah even though i have a a thing in my pocket where i can look at your face if you are in egypt yeah. and talk to you in real time but if, if i have a little back- like walkie-talkie yeah. If I pick up a signal of someone else somewhere, I'm like, well, that's really exciting. I tell you what, sure the, the, I remember, I remember uh, when you end that first, or when he abruptly ends that first walkie talkie conversation, and I'm just kind of hanging there and I'm like, he's lying. Huh? He's spinning you a web of lies, Charlie. The and heading remember, and the reach, the reach up to the high. top of the doorway. Yeah, it was a little too but high commi- to but, reach. But you committed to it. Yes. Because once you're, the arms and the hands go up, you can't. You can't, can't, can't no, problem, that's right? the, that's the stance you took. And you know, that was the big was reveal. That's the reveal. My friend looks over and I'm doing the thing that's mm-hmm. like, and I remember thinking like, as we were shooting that, I'm like, this is a little too high. And then I was like, oh, that's actually funnier. Yeah. 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 It's, it's funnier really that awkward. it's an awkward stance. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the Don Johnson reference mm. is classic. It's a good run. That's a, we've had two Don Johnson references Have on we? the show. Do you know the second one? Yes. I don't. Was I don't it remember. in the... Wait, uh, was it more recently? Mm-hmm. Was it in the haircut? Was, was it in the... No. Uh... It's a little bit of a trick because we don't actually say Don Johnson, but we are referring to Don Johnson. Sonny Crockett. What a, no. a Nash Bridges reference. It's uh. a lyric in uh, The Gang Turns Black. <laughs> I miss my old Camaro and my <laughs> mansion in Van Nuys. Yeah. Still wish I hung with... Nath, Nash, Nash Bridges, Bridges and those and played uh, poker with the fall guy <laughs> and play, played <laughs> poker with the fall guy yeah man yeah he misses he misses hanging out with Don Johnson and Lee Majors mm-hmm. yeah I sat next to Don Johnson once at a dinner party at Rob Lowe's house mm-hmm. and Don Johnson was a very cool <laughs> I love Don Johnson it was a very cool I yeah. always loved Don Johnson speaking of um, mixing it up a little bit mm-hmm. with people not in the episode, mm-hmm. you'll notice that there's an empty chair over there. Mm-hmm. Now, yeah. now Megan's still getting paid, but she's not playing. Mm-hmm. We'll see about that. But mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, I mean, we should yeah, we should we should talk carve, about that? She's not here, so out. we could fit. Yeah, we could carve one out. Yeah. We'll carve it out. Well, because she's not playing, and she's not pay to play, pay or play. I don't she's... think we signed anything that says pay or play. No, mm-hmm. no, no, we've not. Okay, yeah, but she's going to be editing the episode. So if you don't play, there's we have a choice. <sighs> yeah, Whether pay. she's still going to be doing some playing. She will be, I'm and she, in fact, she set she set this whole thing up, and then she sent us a bunch of questions and things. So she is playing, I suppose. Yeah, she's also going to be involved in the editing of this. Yeah, that's what I said. So. If you're, you're, oh, you're yeah, not no, playing either because you're not no, listening. No, no. You I don't know. I'm, I'm only halfway here. You're here, but you're not was, playing. Uh, well, let's see. Let's see what if we got some some fun questions here that uh, Meg prepared. Uh, were you, now, were you guys fans of Jackass actually when it came out? Yeah. I was too. I, I, we used to I was watch blown the, away. the television series <sighs> yeah. Before, before. Yeah, I loved it. You know, it's crazy. I do, I'm sure I watched, yeah. I'm sure I watched the TV series. I don't know that I've seen any of the movies. Oh, God. Oh, they're fantastic. Do yourself a favor. They're I fantastic. I don't know how I haven't. They're genuinely, genuinely fantastic. I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. It, it is, I will say, though, it's the kind of thing that's like best experienced in the theater. Mm. With you know a, what I mean? With, with a giant yeah, group yeah, of yeah. people. The joy of uh, yeah, and I can't remember if I watching told... a man set his balls on fire in a group. Sh- yes, exactly. Sure. Try to yeah. yeah. I, I I don't know. I may have talked about this on the podcast before, but I took Jill on our very first date together. I took her to sushi, and then we went and saw Jackass too. And the fact that she was down to do that and excited to do it, and then you know enjoyed the movie just as much mm-hmm. as i did i was like mm-hmm. yeah yeah this is this is the one mm-hmm. this is the one did you have She's sex that night we didn't <laughs> i feel like that's like what Howard Stern would ask and uh yeah. and how was the sex right you know yeah not that i want to be Howard Stern. we uh <laughs> <laughs> we did not we did not we 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 actually didn't have sex for a little while we waited until i got married 
Well, she waited. I think she, she didn't she, <laughs> may, she was maybe not sure. No, well. There was a period I remember where you were like, ah, this, I like this woman, but I no, this well, kind of. The, the real story is uh, we started dating and she was like six months out of a <clears throat> six year relationship. So she was like, just not uh, ready to be in a relationship. And I could tell, and she pretty much told me as much. And I had been single for like three years and, you know, wasn't like trying to get in a relationship. But when I met her, I was like, oh, this isn't the kind of girl that I just want to date. Like I, this is like serious girlfriend, possibly marrying material. And she just wasn't ready for that. So we dated for like, I don't know, three weeks. And then I actually called it off because I was like, I don't want to just date you. And this feels weird. And I feel like it's, you know, like we're, we're just like, it was a dynamic that wasn't quite working. And I was like, I don't This wanna... is a good move. This is a Howerton special. You saw that she was going to do it first. Dennis and, and you said, no, you said, no, you knew, you saw the writing on the wall and you were like, this woman is yes. great. She's going to tell me to fuck off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tell her to fuck off first. Well, yes. Uh, but it was also, you know, uh, wow. it, I did, mm -hmm. I was Mind aware, mm. I was aware in the back of my head that like I was doing something arguably sort of impressive. <laughs> Walking away, walking away from a relationship. Oh, impressed by the this Glenn breakup. System. Well, because the my Glenn reason, system. because my reason for breaking up with her was that I liked her too much and that she wasn't ready for what I had to offer. We got to get a board up here and get the Glenn system up. I want to yeah, know the acronym. But, what was her reaction to that? Well, I from, will marry you and have your baby. Yeah, yeah. No, it's no, at first it's, oh, okay. But then weeks go by and she, she's like, what? She's like, this creep's trying to Glenn me. She's, he's trying to. Uh, she, yeah. He's trying to Glenn me, but I, somehow she, I'm st I'm into it. What would yeah. the Glenn system be? Yeah, G. Mm -hmm. Gloat. <laughs> <laughs> Gloat first. Go to woman. I think yeah. go go to go for go it. to woman. go for go it. for it. Go for it. Go for it. Then love making. Lift off. Yeah, love making. <laughs> love making. Go for it. E. Love making. Exit. Es escalate. Egg. Escalate. Egg. Escalate. Es escalate. <laughs> escalate. N N. Never N -N. negotiate. Never. No, well no. N <laughs> N that's like a classic <laughs> neglect. What is that neglect. weird like pickup artist shit? Um what do they call it? Oh negging. Negging. Oh negging. Negging. Neg. So that was your the, your first N is the neg. Neg. So you took it all the way, then you neg you negged her. Neg more. and then nuptials. Neg and then nuptials. And nuptials. Yeah. That yeah. was the Glenn system, yeah. yeah. Wow. Just the one time. Just the one Just time. The one. I didn't Did you ever think that maybe you were caught in a web of her making? I'm sure. I don't think, look, I, either one of us were. She, she's smarter. She's definitely smarter than you. Uh, and that she could. Doubt. The second she locked eyes with you, she knew, she was like, oh, this guy's trying to break up with me and do a whole thing. Okay, sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. The we Jill. should have her on. We should have the, the we should have Jill on, mm -hmm. right? Because we've had your wives on now. When we get to that, that makes episode. more sense. When we get to that episode. When we get to the Dennis System episode, we'll have mm -hmm. Jill on mm -hmm. and she can tell her version of the story. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we can uh, cut all this. Yeah, we can cut all this because it'll be way better with her. It'll be fresh and new. With her there. Oh, I don't know. I, I find it fascinating. It is fascinating. Yeah, it's interesting. I, I, I'll tell you what else I, feel, I find fascinating. And this is why I went into the episode. Um, uh, within, uh, there's a very, I think, I think a very popular subset of of pornography viewers who really enjoy a close up of genitalia mm. just smacking together. I've never understood this. So I've never enjoys understood. It. I think it's the actual pornographer who enjoys it, and uh, uh, clearly doesn't know people are watching it. I don't think so. I think it's a way to um, stitch scenes together. Oh, you so, think it's a cut point? Yeah, it's a cut point. Yeah, so we you're need like, something to cut to. What mm -hmm, about? Mm -hmm. What if all we can see is his asshole? Okay, and his balls. you're going to make a porn and you're like, oh, you know what? I'd like them to be at least uh, a minute and a half long. And uh, this this one lasts about 35 seconds. Um, so I'll I'll go to the library of ball and vagina and, oh, uh, can pull any, and I'll just any... splice that in and I'll lengthen up this episode. Yeah. It's just like, it's crazy dehumanizing, right? Is that the idea that you're just, you're de you're decapitating the people? You're, su you're suggesting think... that they are not humans. I think- who 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 is Wait. attracted to that? No, I think it's you're getting a closer look at what's happening. You but know, who you're wants like that? you're like you're like I'm really engaged in the story, but what's really happening in the story? You I know, apologize like, like, to everybody what? out there who is into that. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. there's nothing right. wrong with yeah, yeah. there's I'd nothing like, wrong with that. Uh, oh, I'm not sex shaming anybody. Don't I'm close up shame. Fascinating. <laughs> yeah, it's like fascinating. 
Uh, it is fascinating. I, I I can tell you that I'm not into it. Mm. That's not what I want to see. Mm-mm. You know, I feel like Charlie's defending it. He might be into it, which is fine. I guess, but not, can you walk us through why? You know what? Can I just tell you what no, I think? No, I'm with you. I'm not into it. I'm just trying to figure out why it's in there. And I think it has to do with the storytelling. You know, I think it really has <laughs> it's to narratively be like, based. bring the audience closer to the story that so, you're trying to tell. You know, you're trying to get people to be like, okay, these two people are having sex, but how is it happening? You right. know, like what, what, what actually is, what are the steps? It could be, or it could just be their version of, uh-huh. like, what is the speed at which this is happening? You know, like, um, you know, like, I know I can't smell it, but I imagine oh. the closer, <laughs> the closer a view I get, the more I could sense Well, the you get to see who's smells. generating the power. You do. Who's generating the power? Who's receiving the power? Who's receiving who's... and who's generating. <laughs> Yeah. You get you do get a little bit of that. I don't know. Rob, why this close? I don't know. It's definitely it's definitely for the male audience, right? Am I? Am I? Is, is I think that it's all for the male audience. Yeah, I, well, it's I, all for the male I, I think audience. sadly, okay, be, yeah. you don't want to finish your porn and feel like I didn't get enough coverage. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're you don't like, want to right, be the editing room. Like, I, 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 I we don't have I enough angles one. here, and this right. is no one's going to watch this. Well, and also, like you, you know, you you're trying to get, you're trying to appeal to everybody, you know, which is why you know somebody's at some point often somebody's going to do something with a foot. Mm-hmm. You know, and then you're going to get a shot of the guy's, you know, butthole because, you know, who knows who's watching, who knows who's watching and who's into what. Mm-hmm. You want to give them a little bit of everything. You're trying to get those VHSs to fly off the shelf, right? And uh, you want to make sure the everyone all is the appealed creeps are, to. Yeah, all yeah, the, all, all the, creeps. the creeps are satisfied. Well, guys, if you haven't heard the news yet, it is smooth sack summer. Say you're a group of fighter pilots, uh-huh. right? You I'll know? say that. Okay, and you're playing, and you're playing your balls in the sun. Uh, whether it's volleyball or it's mm-hmm. or it's some weird sort of two football. But either way, you've got expert ball handling skills, and you mm-hmm. want to impress the ladies mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. or each other, mm-hmm. or each other, or actually mm-hmm. more so each other. Mm-hmm. 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 And then you want to make sure that those balls are aerodynamic, right? Uh, hydrodynamic and mm. smooth to the touch. You want the leader in below the belt grooming. What do you want? You want Manscaped. The Manscaped Performance Package 4.0 has everything you need to prepare for that glistening, dewy, inexplicably sweaty, just very overall damp summer bod. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now about that lawnmower, it features a ceramic blade with state-of-the-art advanced skin-safe technology to reduce grooming accidents. Now, I cannot tell you how thankful I am that they've developed this safeguard against what can be extremely painful or somewhat embarrassing. He says from personal experience... (laughs) <laughs> yeah, it's smooth sack summer, guys, not scarred sack summer. Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code SUNNY at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with the code SUNNY at manscaped.com. It's smooth sack summer, boys. Get on board or get left behind. SUNNY at manscaped.com. Hey, what's up, creeps? Uh, Glenn here. I'm going to get my merch at the merch. Sorry about that. Cut, cut that, cut that, cut that. Um, let's go again. Um, okay. What's up, creeps? Glenn here. Sunny merch is now available. I'm gonna cut that with my really? cut that mug. <sighs> okay. Hey, guys. What's Sunny- up, listeners? I- oh, fuck. I'm wearing a sweatshirt with my face on it. And you can, too. At the merchandise store. Wear a sweatshirt with my face on it, not yours. What are you, a narcissist? Go to thealwayssunnypod.com slash merch and get you some podcast merch, baby. Is this the first episode where we establish that you have a camera running in your uh, bedroom at all times? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's really disturbing. I I remember doing it and being like, all right, is it too far? But it's funny. The drawer full of tapes. The drawer full yeah. of tapes. And the also, one star, and, the, the, and your reaction the number to the one star. The number of different waitresses. The number of different waitresses. Yeah, 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 yeah. All, waitress like, coffee shop. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's like <laughs> waitress. The fact that you're disappointed in that it's a one star tape. Well, really she's funny. disappointed. Yeah, she's Well, you're, and you're. No, you're, you, you say it's not good. You're like, no, it's not good. Ooh, it's not, not good. good. Yeah, 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 yeah. But see, it's episodes like this and <laughs> situations like that that, I, I don't know. I mean, we don't need to get into this again, but. Go ahead. When we talk, we can start talking about episodes that are pulled or banned for for very specific yeah, reasons why is that i not? look at this and i say this one should be bad if if you're looking at the show and saying we're taking this all at face value yeah that intention doesn't matter that the, essentially the subject uh the, the 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 subject that we're addressing is should be taken at face value and that these characters are we're presenting them 
as human beings who we're and and whose lives we're following, um, and there's no satirical element to it, then there's a there's a case to be made that certainly an episode like this should be pulled. I mean, it's like such an insane violation that Dennis is yeah. perpetrating. Mm-hmm. We go on to suggest also that he's a, potentially a serial killer, like a legit mass murder. It, oh, oh, later. Yeah, later yeah, in the yeah, series. Yeah, in the series and yeah. again, if you're taking it at face value, are we suggesting that this is something funny? This is something to laugh about? Same, my character is harassing a woman for yeah. the entirety yeah. of the series. He's know? lovable, but he, what he's doing is, yeah, entirely inappropriate. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, it's funny. It is funny it, because it is despicable and, and despicable it's behavior point, is funny. The point of the show. It always has been. It always has been. And again, we're not saying these are good people, so it's not, you know, but uh, yeah, anyway. So let me see if we have any other, uh, we have any other prompts here. Uh, okay. Actually, this is a good one. Charlie, your character drinks. Tw- By the way, your drunk acting in this episode is just fantastic. Oh, thank I you. I love it. How about you take your mind off of it with some pizza and some beer? Oh, that's right. I ate all the pizza. And I drank all the beer. You must be wasted, dude. 24 beers by yourself? And I'm very wasted. I love it so much. I love the. I love the. I love the weird little body choices that you make, like when you're drunk, like the you. It's almost like you don't have as good a control over your limbs. It's always fun to do, right? Because you feel like you have like a. I don't know. You have like a pass to just go as far as you want, right? Like you, because you're drunk, so you're like, I, I don't know. Try anything. Try this posture. Try this speech pattern. Well, you've always been good about. I, I will say you've always been more brave, insofar as like you're willing to just really go for it, like make a really bold choice. Mm. And that was something that took me a while to kind of get to a place where I felt comfortable doing that. Like, it's a good thing because you're a good enough actor to where it doesn't, it, you you can go big and it's still, there's still a, like a, a a kernel of truth to it. It's you know? kind of you to say, and I'll take all the compliments and say thank you. <laughs> but 24 beers is a lot. How many beers have you guys ever had in a single sitting? Or not in a single sitting, but like, I mean, here's the thing. If how you- about over the course of a day? When you get past 10, you are losing count, you know? Sure. Mm-hmm. And if you There were a... periods a long time ago where, yeah, you would start a day drinking ep- mm. episode with friends. Right. In your, in your early 20s. And it would start... I remember uh, there, was, there were some bars on the Upper West Side of Manhattan. And on Saturday mornings, they would run a... They would run a, uh, a promotion where you paid $40. And you, from 10 a.m. Mm. until 4 p.m., you had all the beer you could drink and all the wings you could eat. And they would just put college football on. Wow. And you would go, you would go there and you, we would spend from 10 to four there. And, and you'd just stumble like, out of that place probably. Yeah. Right? But we would transition straight from that into another like party and then another mm-hmm. bar after that. Sure. And so I don't know. I mean. The wings and the, and the celery and the blue cheese And you're cheese drinking set probably you some kind of light beer because you got to. You got to pace yourself to a certain sure. extent. Yeah, you're not drinking IPAs. You're not drinking 24. No, IPAs. no, no, no. I but I but I have to assume there was 30 beers drank from the time you I started at 10 a.m. So you think you time. think you may have you know a, I didn't because I didn't drink beer. any other alcohol. I'd right. be surprised. I bet I I bet you're capping out before 24 before a full case. Yeah. In in a in a. 10 from, hour period from from 10 a.m till what are we talking like midnight an average of two beers an hour two, two beers in an two hour two beers in an hour i think you start to slow down after a while probably you, you probably slow down to one beer an hour probably. at a certain point i think you're gonna probably the breaks are gonna start coming on depending on your body weight and height mm-hmm. and all that by the time you get near 18 Oof. and they probably should <laughs> yeah i, yeah, I they probably yeah, yeah. should yeah, i don't yeah. think i've ever had anywhere close to 18 beers in a day I, I just don't, I, I just can't, I don't think I could do that. I, yeah. I, I think. Um, I couldn't at 45, but I, at 25. You could at 25. Could. Yeah, over the course of like 10 hours, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. 10 hours maybe, right? That's yeah. It's tough to know because after 10, you really don't know what, you, what you're doing. <laughs> Well, sometimes, them all, huh? sometimes it's e- it's easy to count, right? Because <laughs> you, you, you bought two six packs, right? And then the, the you know one of them's gone and then, you know. 
half of the next or something like that. So you, it's easy to count. But you're passing them around. Yeah, yeah. Are you carrying them around yourself and not letting anybody have them? And like, <laughs> oh, there's like, other people there? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, it's yeah. a party. <laughs> oh, I thought I was just alone watching a movie in my house. You're drinking solo. <laughs> sure. No, that's what that's what it turns into. That's what it develops into later. That's what you later. become in that's what yeah, you your become. later 20s and your yeah. early 30s. And, yeah. Yeah, you're still you're still doing it. Uh, twenty fours, yeah. Um, twenty fours, a lot. Let's see. Dead air. Dead air. Dead, Dead air. air. I don't know, guys. I mean, not like I'm the not questions. Loving, uh, let's I mean, just hear them anyway. Okay. I mean, let's ri ridicule Megan for writing. Them. Yeah. You know, it's a Meg, you're not here and yet you're still doing work. Yeah. And, and we we got nothing. <laughs> we came ill prepared. We watched the episode. This episode is rated in the top 10% of all sunny episodes on IMDb. Now, who's rating that? IMDb. I put, have... I put it up there. I I, I too, it. but 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 is how it, do they just IMDb I, folks. So top rated episode of people who go on to IMDb to vote about episodes. I guess. I don't yeah. know. I don't know. I don't know. But okay. I'd put it up there. I'd put it way up there because I, I think because like, and I've never really thought about like what are, I don't I think it's because there's, there's like three or four scenes in this episode that to me are like scenes that I point to as some of the funniest things. Mm -hmm. The scene, the scene where, where, you know, you come in to give me my walkie talkie and admit to me that you've been banging the waitress. Mm -hmm. And we, you know, and you explain that we're, we're, we're closer than best friends. We're mm -hmm. blood brothers. Mm -hmm. And he's asleep and then he wakes up and you hide under the covers yeah. right at my crotch <laughs> area. Know, what am I seeing? Yeah. And you come over. Yeah, when you go, I just remember like shooting that and thinking this is, this is so like, the way you performed it too, yeah. This like, Matt Shackman directed this episode seeing? too, right? Yeah, Shackman yeah. shot it. What, what is it that, you know, you look at our show and the coverage, the coverage of the camera angles, uh, coverage uh, for, I guess, anyone who might not know is like uh, when you're looking at a porn and suddenly there's a very close up shot of uh, of the genitalia moving at egregious, that's a piece of egregious speeds. Um, that's a piece of coverage. Um, but like, <laughs> the piece co of like the coverage of our show is very simple. We don't have dollies. We're not switching lenses on the cameras. It's not, but something that, Matt Shackman does it makes hmm. these episodes work. So I think I don't know what it is, but there, maybe it was the writing, maybe it's all of it together. But he really has many, 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 many good episodes. And when he's he's also uh, you know somebody that can direct in so many different genres. Like the I fact know. that he well, he went from Sunny to Mad Men to Game of Thrones. Yeah, I know. Well, yeah. I you know my one division. It wasn't a very eloquent yeah. question, but I, I'm just wondering what he does with how he covers these episodes that makes them feel very natural and very where another episode might feel a little more clunky. Yeah, and I bet he's a bigger piece of the puzzle than oh, we, we give him credit. You know. Well, I, I yeah, I mean, I think I think we give Matt a lot. I'm mean, like, I, I certainly, I mean, I think that some, I, I love working with Matt. I wish we could get him back, but he's too, he's, he's got too much going he's on. He's got too much going on. He's got too much going on. He's doing way cooler things. But yeah. there were whole seasons of Sonny that he, he directed every episode. Did, did he direct five? an entire yeah. season? season? Did five? he do all season, season five? five? Yeah. Season he did five? the whole season. Mm -hmm. All 10, 12. I think 12? we did 12 yeah. that year. Cause we and had I, the I think episode. you can make a strong argument. Season five is our best season. Parts of this season as well. I think season five is one of my one of my favorite seasons for sure. Yeah, yeah, and a lot. Yeah, and Shackman was had a huge hand in that. While also running a theater company. Yeah, amazing, amazing, amazing. You guys want to try something different? <clears throat> what do you want to try? I had an idea just in the moment here because okay. just because I'd like to see it, and I'm going to pretend like I'm an audience member who appreciates your comedy. I don't know. I think I would love to see this because when when we shoot this episode, did we establish that it was like 13 years ago? Uh, this would have been 2008. 2008, so yeah. 15 years ago. Wow. No, 14, 14 years sorry. ago. That's a long time. Um, oh, man. I would love to see if you guys, just on memory and having just seen the episode, could recreate, right for us right now, recreate the scene in which you come in with the beers mm. and you 
are trying to get him to sleep in your bed. Mm, like actually try to remember the words? Well, and then come up and then improv your own words as <laughs> recognizing what the scenario is. Uh, yeah, yeah, we could try. <laughs> can always cut it. Yeah. You can always cut it. Can and always I cut it. think it could be really f funny. I think you shouldn't be here because- yeah. Was that going to throw you? Oh, I'm a mess. Well, up. the reality of the scene is you're not sitting here. The reality is- I've come over to hang out with you mm -hmm. and you're not here yet. And I have to talk to you. That's so great. You, okay. So we're going to play UFO. almost like a the, like a theater. Look at these like linen pants. You well, got, man, these are great. I, I meant to bring this up. This whole outfit's really good. I just headed, headed straight to the Caribbean after this. Right? I meant to bring this up when we were talking about Don Johnson. We, when I was watching the Don Johnson, I thought, and I have this like some linen clothing. Mm. Yeah. I was going to give my best Don Johnson look. All right. Well, yeah. uh, all so, right. But what if I sat over where yeah, 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 and then I can yeah, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can observe. Yeah, you're the audience. I'm the audience. This is the set. Okay. Audience is over there. All right. Yeah. So we, cause we set, we'll set the scene then. Um, I'm coming over and I'm sleeping over Mac and I want to get over there, but you're here. I'm yeah. trying to get you over there. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Great. All right. We're going to give it a whirl. All right. I hope this is. I hope this is okay for the listeners. Yeah, I need yeah. my beard. Oh, Your beard? oh yeah. To get it you feels know, very out of character. I'm a different character. Yeah. Well, me too. I mean, yeah, I don't, you need your hair, man. I need my hair. <laughs> your golden god hair. Uh, you put on my like right. hair piece. Now, do you want me to say action, or should I just stay out of it? Oh, uh, I, I think action is. I don't know. You want an action? It it, it does something to me. Okay. <laughs> right? right. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. you. Are you going to start with a knock? What does what does the scene start with? No, you just you just come right in. Yeah, sure. Okay. okay now, Glenn, is Dennis Reynolds here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sadly, okay. always. Charlie, is Charlie Kale here. Yep, here we go. And act. Hey, what's up, buddy? How you doing? Hey, I'm glad you made it. I grabbed that sleeping bag from you. Oh yeah, no, that's yeah. okay. Cause um, yeah, I'm just gonna. Uh, oh, you in your room? Yeah, I'm glad you came over, man. I, I just I'm gonna pop this in my room, and then uh, you yeah, know we can get that set up. Then we can for, forget about that and move on to whatever yeah. else. No, that's I actually think I was gonna sleep in Max room. So, oh well, uh, I mean, there's you know a lot more room in my yeah in my room. And Max I'm room's kind of small. Made and, a plan already, so yeah. But it, okay, you know, I feel bad if I wasn't in his room when he got back here. Okay, all wherever right, wherever he's well, from. That, that's cool. <laughs> Um, we'll toss it. We'll toss that in his room, and then we'll okay. uh, we'll get into it. Mm -mm. Uh, so you got Well, yeah. I mean, I don't know if all if like we should be like in a thing, you know, when Mac gets back because it was gonna. I, I, I think know. it's I think it's probably fine. I, I know she got twenty four beers there. So we crack some of those up. And get yeah. crack crack some of those open and uh, get a little tipsy. Kind of for me and Mac, though, really. Um, okay, well, that's twenty four beers. Yeah, uh, well, you're gonna twelve you, for me. And you're really gonna drink all that? Twelve for Mac. 12, 12 for you and 12 for Mac. Yeah, so that's kind of our thing. Really? That's a lot. Not that much, just half a case. That's it's a hell of a lot. Uh, we could probably divide those up 888 eight, eight, <laughs> and make that work, but uh, you want to drink them? You want to drink them all? That's fine. I think that's, I got some in the fridge. Why don't we do something else? You want to drink them all? Let's 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 uh, let's do something, man. What do you want to do? Hey, you know what? We got a, I got a bunch of new board games. I got the old, I got the classics too. We yeah. got we got Chinese checkers. Uh, we can do Chinese checkers. Kind of foreign to me, really. I want to uh, play okay. a foreign game. <clears throat> you know. Okay. Well, we got uh, we got um, Clue. We could solve a mess mystery together. Yeah, could... it's a little too mysterious, you know, I, and feels dangerous with all the little weapons and stuff. Okay, so you feel like something might happen. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to get like poked or anything. I'm like, yeah, you want to. Okay, well, well, let's find something less pokey. Let's, uh, what do we do? <laughs> get back in, get back in. Sorry. So you're the brown. You're Sorry. sitting there giggling. <laughs> All right, yeah, well, we can play I mean, something we a little less pokey. Hey, you know what's round? Poke. What's that? You know what's round is we could do some Connect Four. Oh, the little, those little round guys. Yeah, you know, but you can get your fun. finger caught. You know, if you put it in there and you could, like lose your whole finger. I, I think can tell you how to avoid that. Down. I can tell you how to avoid that. Yeah, it's not. I mean, it's not really that sharp. It's not like a guillotine. You know, yeah. so uh, it could be. I've never really four, got my finger in there because because that. Yeah, it's a lot of counting too, man. I almost spent my whole night counting. Well, it's it's not that much counting. One, two, three, four, and then you win. Yeah, but over. Yeah, but over and over and over again, man. I want to spend the whole time counting. All, you well, know, just, you, know, you just do it once. You know, one, two, three, four, and game's over. <laughs> You've won. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but I mean, if I'm gonna spend the whole time counting and playing with pokey things, it's like not really what I came over here to do. You know, like 
kind of just want to get in well, Matt's what about room and DVD? close the Let's, door. I've just got a bunch of new DVDs. Yeah, uh, like, you know, some sequels that maybe you haven't seen? Yeah, but maybe I haven't seen the first one. <laughs> well, I probably got the first one, too, if I've got the DVD. <laughs> I mean, I've probably got the first one too. If I have the second one, I've got the first one. Yeah, I don't know. So I we can sift I don't through those know that and I really find. Liked the first one. You don't <laughs> even know. What you're talking about. Wait, get through that. Get through wait, that. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, that would be the bit. So what would yeah. happen yeah. is we would be like, "Oh, that's yeah. really funny." That's, that's yeah. what the scene's about now. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah, we would laugh through the, the first take the of it. No, yeah. no. Okay, okay. Now, now oh, make the whole one, like, thing. Make okay, the right. whole thing about the movie. We're just gonna. He doesn't like. He doesn't even know what they are. Okay. I don't. Well, if I've got. Yeah, but I don't really like the first one, you know, because the first one was kind of scary. Okay, we we haven't established what movie we're talking about here. Well, you know, most of them. <laughs> Most of the first of movies that have sequels are scary to you? Well, you know, there's always like you never know when something's gonna be like a, there's gonna be like a bang or like uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and so you I'm get you crying. get startled easy. That's fine. Well we can do we can do a comedy. Uh, dude, I've got sorry, three amigos. Like when was the last time you saw three in amigos? Here, so my eyes are there's too many amigos. <laughs> <laughs> that's an odd number yeah, of that's amigos. That's an odd number of amigos. Now we're back to counting, so Hey, Charlie, what's on your mind this week besides the latest episode of this podcast? Um, sandwiches? Uh, yeah. Please continue. Uh, well, you know, without sandwiches, we'd be dead. Am I we'd, wrong on that? We'd be or, dead. Or, no, yeah. we'd be dead. Sandwiches are the glue of civilization. Right. Uh, but what is the glue of sandwiches? Uh, well, actually, that's much easier. That's, that's going to be Primal Kitchen. Primal Kitchen changes the way the world eats with high quality, delicious condiments and dressings made of good fats from plant-based oils with no refined sugar. Absolutely correct. I love drowning out my survival anxieties with a thick slathering of Primal Kitchen mayo with avocado oil. Some people think I shouldn't eat mayo, but Primal Kitchen doesn't make that mayo. Theirs is paleo and keto certified and made with organic cage-free eggs. It's mm. the glue of life itself. And without it, We'd all be fossils. Mm. So you can find Primal Kitchen in your local grocery store or by visiting primalkitchen.com. Why well, say I shouldn't eat this when you could say more, please? <laughs> Go to primalkitchen.com. Primalkitchen.com. Well, you guys are my amigos. I really enjoyed um, this episode. I enjoyed this podcast. I enjoyed watching uh -huh. you work. Mm -hmm. And... Um, yeah, you know, and uh, quick prayer. Yeah, and uh, okay, all for one and one for all. Uh, yeah, right. That's the huh. right. Wasn't that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You go bam, bam, doom, and then you huh. burst your crotch out. Yeah. Uh, can you name the three writers of the Three Amigos? I can. There are three writers credited for writing that movie. Do you know who they are? Rob McElroy. Yeah, Lauren. Lauren. Oh, Lauren Michaels. I <laughs> sorry. <laughs> well, I didn't know it was. Uh, Sorry. Uh, Chevy Chase. Nah. Well, are they, are they, do they premiere or, or do they uh, appear in the movie? Who, the can I get a clue? One does. Can I get a clue? One, One does. does. Get yeah. a clue? Uh, who are they? Steve Martin. Uh -huh. uh, but, yeah, Steve Martin, Lorne Michaels. And there's a third party. Is mm -hmm. it? Is it the director? Mm -hmm. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Is it like a, is it a, is it a big name that you wouldn't think? Yes. Is it Joel Cohen or Ethan Cohen? Is it one of the It's Co a big Cohen name, you wouldn't think, because he's I'm not sure. known for writing uh, screenplays. He's oh, known for I writing know who it something is. else. I know who it is. Oh my God, I know he's who it is. He's known for writing something else. Mm -hmm. um, it is a songwriter that Charlie, the character Charlie, often emulates. That Charlie That, often that Charlie Day also really likes. I'll give you another clue. This whole episode is about friendship, and uh, you know, you have a friend in me. Oh, oh, um, uh, I love L.A. Um, yeah, yep. um, I'm blanking on his name. Um, please don't tell me. Uh, Randy Newman. That's Randy it. Newman. Yeah, Lauren Michaels, Michaels and, and Steve, uh, Martin. Steve Martin. What a crew! Yes, yeah, yeah. weird, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, interesting. Uh, you wonder though how much. Yeah, like what was the what was the because I mean Lauren's I, not really. I mean, I think it was they wrote it on the season that he wasn't running SNL. There was the like oh. the oh he stepped back for a he season. He stepped back for like a year or was it two years or like a year, 
and they all got together and they kind of kicked around this idea and they they wrote uh holds up oh, yeah. it holds up i mean i haven't seen it in probably 10 years but the last time i saw it i i was laughing a lot more than i was expecting to laugh it was, it was a lot of good really laughs I love that Marty Short. Yeah, same. Love that Marty Short, man. He's a genius. And uh, there's a w- one joke in there where, where he goes, yes, yeah, see, uh, see that, that mail plane up there? Um, and he goes, how do you know it's a mail plane? Uh, <laughs> tiny little balls. <laughs> I don't get the balls. Balls? <laughs> a lot of pl- I don't and, get it. and that's, well, it's the little wheels, but like. Uh, uh, oh, oh, okay. Right. But, uh, you know, <laughs> mail. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, I got that yeah. part. Yeah, yeah, I got and that then, part. And then, well, the, the, the funny part is, I think it's Steve Martin who goes through a series of like laughing and then not getting it and then like <laughs> getting it for a second and not getting it. Anyway, that's the, the best part of that joke. Well, how do we end on a high note? I, I tried. <laughs>